Okay, so what's up, guys? Back me is here with Fox Season Three, Episode Three, Deja Vu. Okay, so this episode starts off with AJ and the family eating dinner, and Cal leaves like, "How long will it take to AJ to get a foster license?" Because we all know Callie's mad at AJ for what he did to her for messing her up and making her get fired from dropping her. Which Stephanie still thinks she has. Still thinks she has a job by, by mentioning that she'll go to the job center. But they don't know that she, that AJ got her fired. So, they're thinking that she still has a job, but no, she doesn't. And it's just poor then that they think that she, that she's still, uh, that she's still employed when, when she's not. And, yeah, even Kelly mentions that she, she, that this whole yes man act is just a way, it's just a way so he can just run again, he's like, can you read minds too? He's like, can you read minds too? And she's like, and she's like, she got the fire from job center because of him, and if, and if her mom knew that, he wouldn't be here. And he's like, why didn't you just tell that? And AJ's like, why didn't you just tell them? And he's like, I was, I was happy, I was cool with that. Looking into your case, but I was th I wasn't thinking she was gonna bring him home. And basically, Brendan comes into Brent comes into the room in an awkward situation. So, Ju so since Jesus is off at boarding school at Flintwood, AJ is now sleeping in his bed with Jude, and he's like, and he's a, and he's a, and he's thinks that he's just something bad. That's why they sent him away. When he's like, no. He's a wrestler, wrestler, he wanted to go, and he's like, and he's like, is that, is he the first black kid he fo they foster? And he's like, yeah. And he's just, and dude, like, he grinds, and he's like, he grinds in his teeth, and he's just, and then he just would just throw a pillow at him. <laughs> Again, stop. So. So. Yeah. So Mariana Rivio said she now got a job at the bakery with Victor and Victor offered at the bakery and yeah. So yeah, so last episode Mariana was feeling you know she felt like she was kind of a slut because of you know, you know the sleeping with Wyatt cheating on her boyfriend but Anna was like you shouldn't call yourself that and she was like she cheated on her boyfriend the with a boy she barely do. Uh, my God. That just makes no sense. How does she barely know Wyatt? She knows about his college boyfriend. If she barely knew him, why would she go to his foreclosure party? If she, you don't go to a guy you barely know his foreclosure party, even though, like, his parents were at, she didn't want to go because her parents were there at the time, or, or at the house at the time, but why would she go to a guy's of course, probably that she barely knew. This the sentence that Marion made last Marion made last episode makes no sense. It still is re confusing me that she said that she slept with a guy she barely knows when when Callie's brought Wyatt over to her house a bunch of times. How does she barely know him? This see this quote makes no sense. Did the, did they look? At the other episodes, and see when the show is on. When the show is on, did they when the season and the show is on? Did they look at the scene and was like, "Hey, Mariana probably knows why." They probably didn't think that because this scene, the scene where Mariana says, "Hey, she barely knows why," it just makes no sense. Because if if she knew didn't know why it, she wouldn't have gone to his foreclosure party. And I get it. She. Why did she parents with her? And she was in fact with Lexi at the time, but she still wouldn't have went if she barely knew him. It makes no sense. But anyway, yeah. Off my ring, how that scene, how the Marion and scene where Marion says she doesn't know why, barely knows why it makes no sense. Let's talk about another scene. Let's talk about the scene in this episode. Marion gets to work with her cousin Adriana, who was played by, who played, played by, who plays Yolanda Montez on, I think I'm saying that, Yolanda, aka Wildcat, on Stargirl, which I'm really excited to review Stargirl on my other channel, Arrowverse Views, so I, 
I just like this actress acting. She's just very good. And, and yeah, she's even like a picture of Mariana's boyfriend Matt when Wyatt shows up. And she's like, um, who's Wyatt? And, Cal and, Wyatt, and Mariana just says, takes fun and says, uh, no one. And she's like, uh, no one? Yeah, and she and Wyatt just text us the entire episode. So, so, yeah, so. Yeah, Mariana, he's not no one. He's my boy. So, yeah, so, I, anyway. They come up with this thing called I Chirona, which is a churro and a donut combined together, and it's called, and the song is called I Chirona, and, and everyone knew about it, because Mariana at Miss, at Mariana Miss Thing, her Twitter account, put, put it on, tweeted it, and Victor, he's probably not happy, and he's like, this Chirona thing will not happen, not here, not ever, but Mariana's like, hey, People are not gonna. People are not. People are not gonna come into this bakery because of some other design. They want something fresh, and this Trona could be something fresh for you and your in your bakery. So, so yeah, so yeah, so yeah. So he so, but she's like, sure, we'll have your Trona. So yeah. So yeah, so AJ skips class, says he's going to the bathroom, but he just runs to a sprint, runs with spray paint, runs towards the water, to water tower, and Mike and finds him, and he sprays the phone number, which is actually, he thinks Mike's phone number, but he's actually, why? Because he's, because he throws up the phone, and he says, hey, if Ty, if, if Ty, see, if Ty wants to get in touch, he left the phone number two. So, say so yeah. But at the end of the episode, Brandon sees him returning the Tony Glenn ball, and he's like, "What are you? Do What's going on here?" So yeah. So yeah. So also, so Steph go. So let's talk about Steph. Steph kind of has um involvement in this episode. So Steph and Lena's friend Jenna is in this episode. Back. She returns after not being seen over two seasons. Last saw uh, in season one, episode five, the morning after. That was her last appearance. She is alone here now, and she's really into Monty. <laughs> she's really into Lena's boss. So she's like, so she's like, yeah. So yeah, she's like, Lena, you get, you gotta set me up with your boss. So yeah, so 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 yeah, so. Cause Monty is looking at looking for women, so yeah. So, so Connor is playing this really loud video game with guns, and and she's like, and she's like, hey, turn it down, it hurts his ears, and 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 Connor says, hey, whatever, Granny. Yeah. He called, he called him Granny for some reason, cause, yeah, so, and she puts on his headphones, so yeah, so, so yeah, so anyway, they go, they go, basically, so yeah, so, he asks Steph if he can go to a shooting range, and Steph says yeah, so he asks Connor, and Connor says yeah, and Connor, and he, and he says hey, and he, they ask Lena, and Lena's like, and he's like, why do you want to shoot a gun? And he's like, Connor really wants to do it, because, you know, Lena has a fear of gun. And he's like, I just don't want to be afraid. And Lena's like, you should be scared of a gun. And he's like, Lena, that's the wrong idea to have. You should not be scared of a gun. And she's like, and Lena's, and Lena's like, I hope we both agree the answer is no. But she talks to Connor's dad, and Connor. Like, he really wants Connor to go, so they shoot, so, June first tries to shoot the guy, but it do but he gets scared and it doesn't work, so Connor goes and he gets flashbacks, and he says he doesn't want to do it either, so, so, yeah, yeah, so, so, yeah.
Okay, yeah, so anyway. I really, okay, so yeah, so, so, yeah. Yeah, I, so I really enjoyed this one. It was a really good episode. It was a really good episode. Bring, So I really enjoyed this ep so I really enjoyed this episode. It was it was really it was it was really good. This episode was really good, I enjoyed this one. And so yeah. So so yeah, so I enjoyed this one. So like, comment, subscribe, and good have a wonderful evening and I'll see you next up Boston.